Hi, my name's Rachel, I work in our education team and I'd like to talk to you today about saving water. Now we're all very lucky that at home we can turn on the tap and we have a clean, fresh supply of water that comes out that's safe and ready for us to use. However, not everybody has this luxury. In some poorer countries in the world, children have to walk for up to two hours a day to collect their water and then when they get it back home it's still not safe for them to use it's got germs and other contaminants in it that can make them poorly so actually we're very lucky and we shouldn't take our water for granted now that water gets to your tap because water companies like us up and down the country take that water either from the river, from reservoirs or from groundwater. We pump it to our treatment works where it's all cleaned to get any germs out of it and then it's stored and pumped to your home so when you turn on the tap you've got that water ready there for you to use. Now on average in the UK we each use 150 litres of water a day. Now that sounds like quite a lot of water but actually when we add up the amounts of water we use for different things we probably use more than 150 litres of water a day. So I want you to have a little thing maybe ask people who are at home with you about all the different things that we use water for perhaps think about what you've used water for today and see if you can come up with a list so today you might have used water to wash your hands have a shower flush the toilet have a drink do some cooking so you can see we use water for lots of different things. A load of washing for example in the washing machine uses 85 litres of water. Filling your bath up uses 80 litres whilst a shower uses 35 litres of water. So you can see the amounts of water we use soon start to add up. So you might be wondering why it's important for us to save water. Well, it's important that we all learn to save water because according to the Environment Agency, if we all carry on using the amount of water that we do, then by 2050, there are parts of the country that will experience a shortage in water. So it's important that we all try and do our bit now to reduce the amount of water that we use. Some of the ways that water gets wasted are from leaky toilets, they're quite hard to spot. Um, they lose little dribbles of water down the back where it's difficult to see, but you can get hold of a leaky loo strip and if you put that in the bowl of your toilet, when the writing starts to fade or it starts to rip, it means your toilet's got a leak and you know to get it fixed. Putting the dishwasher or the washing machine on half full also wastes water. Remember I said that your washing machine uses 85 litres per load. So if you only put half a load of clothes in the washing machine, unless you have a special eco setting on your machine, it will still use that full 85 litres to wash half a load of clothes so it's important to make sure dishwashers and washing machines are full before we turn them on. Running taps can also waste water so if you leave the tap running while you're cleaning your teeth that wastes 12 litres of water and if you do that twice a day, that's 24 litres of water wasted just from cleaning your teeth. Now we all know at the moment it's really important to make sure we keep washing our hands. But what you can do while you're rubbing the soap into your hands for that 20 seconds 
is you could turn the tap off or put the plug in the sink and put some water in there and use that to wash your hands and that way you're conserving water and also staying safe which is the most important thing. Other things that waste water, flushing rubbish down the toilet, so wipes that um, you might use to clean the toilet with, baby wipes, um, tissues after you've blown your nose, they should all go in the bin because if you flush them down the toilet not only does it waste water every time you flush your toilet so it's nine litres per flush it can also block the pipes and that can cause more problems and also because wipes have plastic in them it makes it more difficult at the sewage treatment works to treat the water because all those wipes are still in there so it's really important the only things that you should flush down the toilet are what you use the toilet for and toilet paper everything else should go in the bin another way water gets wasted is by people overfilling their bathtubs now we're not telling you not to have a bath we encourage you to keep clean but try running your bath a few centimetres shorter because that will help to save water or you could try having a four minute shower and that only uses 35 litres of water. Now it sounds quite difficult to try and have a shower in four minutes but maybe you could have a little bit of a competition at home to see who can have the quickest shower maybe find a song that you like that's four minutes long pop that on and then when that's finished you know it's time to get out of the shower but also mean you can practice getting ready quicker in a morning which has got to be a good thing so there's some of the ways that you can learn to save water by having shorter showers using a leaky loo strip to check that your toilet isn't leaking and by making sure you turn the tap off while you clean your teeth. Now remember it is important to wash your hands but you can turn the tap off whilst you're lathering the soap into your hands or pop the plug in the sink and use that to wash your hands in that water. Keep washing those hands, stay safe and you can find some more water saving tips on our website and any water saving devices can be ordered for free via Save Money, Save Water but make sure you ask an adult's permission first. Thank you very much, stay safe, keep washing your hands.